example of the Messenger Muhammad. And the worst of thing, the worst of all the affairs, the worst of all the matters, are those things that have been newly introduced and newly innovated in the religion. Because every matter that has been newly brought into the religion is a deviation and a going astray. And all of that deviation and all of that going astray has its ultimate destination in the fire of hell. Some years ago, I'm sure most of us probably remember an incident that took place in the United States of America when a black man by the name of Rodney King was beaten brutally by the <coughs> LAPD, the Los Angeles Police Force. Not that that was a particularly strange event, apparently. It's something that happens quite often in America. But what was strange about this particular event is that the whole thing was caught on a video camera <coughs> by someone filming the whole incident from his flat. This footage of this man on the ground being beaten, kicked, senseless by the police was then released to the media and during the subsequent trial the policemen, all of them, were acquitted. They suffered no charges, they were not put up for any type of criminal activity and what proceeded to happen in the United States of America were the worst riots that the United States of America had seen, well anyway, for a very long time if not in their history. And the cry, the, 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 the slogan of the rioters was a very simple but amazingly true statement. No justice no peace. That was their slogan. No justice, no peace. And this is a very true statement. The fact is that the affairs of the human being in our social activities as human beings living together, acting together, they are built upon justice. Human beings can bear all sorts of hardships. Human beings can put up with starvation. They can put up with extreme thirst, extremes of hot and cold, disease. In fact, human beings can easily put up with war and sometimes, quite often, they're quite happy to go to war. But one thing, well there are other things, but one of the things that human beings cannot actually put up with for an extended period of time is injustice and tyranny and oppression. It is only a matter of time before people will rebel <coughs> and overthrow in one way or another that injustice and tyranny and oppression. So justice and the concept of justice is something really as intrinsic, and this is something, this is a, an interesting, this could actually take us in a very interesting direction, but I'm not going to let it go there. But it's very interesting that for human beings, there are intangible, emotional, psychological needs that we have that are in fact more, just as, if not more important, than our physical needs. So, for us to have justice can be as important, if not more important, than having food and drink, and shelter, and clothing. As human beings may be quite ready to forego, forego all of those things, to try and create some justice, and to remove oppression in their life. So, we, before we answer the question, really, Islamic law, justice, or oppression, we have to start examining what is justice. What do we mean by justice? 
What is this justice that is so important that human beings demand it and want it and seek it and desire it? Well, <clears throat> one way of understanding something is by examining its opposite. One way of understanding something is by examining its opposite. So the opposite of justice could be defined as oppression, injustice, tyranny. Those are some of the things that we could understand to be the opposite of justice. Generally, anyway, justice implies, <clears throat> justice implies putting everything in its correct place. That's what justice is. It is putting something in its correct place. And injustice or oppression is taking something out of its correct place. And with the concept of justice you find very much linked up with the concept of justice is the concept of rights. What are the rights? The human rights, the animal rights, the whatever rights it may be. Okay? Our rights. Now, the concept of justice does not necessarily mean compassion, mercy, kindness, forgiveness, those things are actually not necessarily equated with justice at all. Justice could be brutal, justice could be harsh, and it could still be termed as being justice. Compassion, mercy, forgiveness, they are other qualities, desirable ones, albeit. But because there is harshness, or there is toughness in something, that does not mean that that thing is lacking justice. And that is an important thing to know. <coughs> On the opposite hand, oppression therefore means putting things in the wrong place. Unbalance, being unfair, not giving things their rights. So, <clears throat> these are the concepts, this is the concept of justice and oppression. What is justice? What is oppression? But we find that this idea of justice is always going to be somewhat subjective. I mean, whose idea of justice are we talking about? Who defines justice? What really is justice? Does every human being have some type of common idea of justice? Certainly true justice is something that nobody is going to be able to complain about. If true justice has been established, no one is going to be able to argue that yes, the just thing was done. That's true and perfect justice. So, if we talk about the Islamic law, okay, justice or oppression, Okay, it asks, well, there's another question that comes to mind. Now, is justice something, is justice something that is linked with law? Or is justice a quality that exists on its own? Okay, this is the question. For example, can you be just, although the laws that you implement are unjust? Okay, can you have a just laws, can you have just laws, but if the people who are implementing those laws, they are unjust, what do you have? Certainly in that scenario, it's going to be not so confusing. You can have laws that are very just. You can have laws that are balanced and laws that fit the needs of human beings. You can have the most excellent constitution and you can have the most excellent laws and excellent legal framework. But if the people who are applying those laws, they are unjust, then it doesn't matter what the laws are. If the people who are implementing those laws are unjust, and they implement them in an unjust manner, you have injustice. But now the question comes the other way, and this is going to something we're going to have to return to it towards the end of my talk. <coughs> How about the other way around? What if you have a people who are just? If you have a people who are just, they aspire for justice. They seek justice and they try to be just. But the laws that they're trying to implement and the way of and the system that they're trying to establish is fundamentally flawed.